I traveled halfway around the world with this power bank. Traveling for more than two weeks back to America and back to Vietnam, this was the main power bank that I used. Now, when I came back to Vietnam, I searched across Amazon to find something comparable with a similar set of specs and features, but I was unable to do that. But I don't know if that unparalleled set of specs and features can totally justify the price of this power bank. Now we're gonna jump into that today, but first, my name is Mitchell, I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be, and we're gonna have a short review of this Vager Mag On 10,000 milliamp hour mag safe compatible power bank. Now I'm gonna review this power bank the same way I review headphones, and that means we're gonna start off with the specs. Now I got the specs written down right here. It's got Qi charging up to 15 watts, which means that this power bank can actually fast charge your Samsung phone at the full fast wireless charging speed of 15 watts. It will do power delivery uh, of up to 22 and a half watts in and out, meaning you don't have to wait overnight to charge this power bank. Now it's got a USB-A port, which you can use to trickle charge low power items, such as this Xiaomi Mi Band 7, which I'm working on a review of, or other low power items, wearables, such like that. It's also got a lightning in, if you're part of the Apple ecosystem, you only have to bring one cable with you to charge up this power bank and charge your iPhone. Following along with that one cable solution, we also have a USB-C in and out, meaning that you can actually charge up to three devices simultaneously with this power bank, which is something that I haven't seen with very many power banks on the market right now. You can wirelessly charge while using the USB-A and using the USB-C out. You can also charge this over lightning or USB-C while using the Qi wireless charging. Now that's gonna limit and you're not gonna get the full 15 watts while you're charging this, but if you wanna go ahead and use this as like a semi home Qi wireless charging pad that you can then take with you on the go, this allows you to do that. Now construction of this is really kind of nondescript. You have a little place here for a tether, which I actually found very useful when traveling. We have a black matte plastic, which doesn't really show fingerprints or scratches, and it looks pretty well. Like it looks pretty good after traveling. You can also get this in white, believe. Now on the part where you have the MagSafe compatible ring, you do have like a little textured uh, plastic, which is nice. It gives it a little bit more grip. And in the box, you're gonna get a really, really short USB-C to USB-A cable, which is fantastic, along with a wireless charging ring that you can stick on your non-MagSafe compatible device. In this case, I used my carbon fiber case and my Google Pixel 6. I stuck the magnet on the back. I then had to add some glue to it because it was coming apart later down the line, but I was able to then have this power bank firmly attached to the back of my Google Pixel 6, and that allowed me to either use the Qi wireless charging or use the cable connection without worrying about the power bank and the phone separating. Now last up, we have to get to just my overall user experience with this power bank, and I really, really like it. I didn't think that I was gonna necessarily like the MagSafe lifestyle of it being firmly attached. Uh, as you guys know, I'm generally not a fan of stuff like this because it's gonna go ahead and heat up the back of your phone and lead to a shorter battery lifespan on your device. But still, even if I wanted to go ahead and use the device, have it stuck on, take it off, use it across my devices, being able to have my power bank and my phone attached together and being able to use a USB-C cable was a great option. Now back at my house in Los Angeles, my mother's an iPhone user and we've got lightning cables all around the house. My father has a Google Pixel 5a 5G, so we have some of the USB-C cables throughout the house. And being able to just go to any of those cables in the house and plug it in really made using this convenient. Now the price, 
Vager sells this for $80 on their website. And I'll have a link to where you can get it in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, and I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and using the affiliate links. Also, if you just wanna support the channel for free, you can go ahead and give the video a like or a subscribe. And coming back to talking about this, the $80 on this, I have a hard time justifying $80 for a power bank, just to be honest with you guys. But, when I looked on Amazon for other power banks that featured all three of these ports, the ability to 15 watt wirelessly charge your device, which for Samsung is their fast wireless charging, and the ability to go ahead and have something that was this small, I couldn't find anything. Now, I'm sure you might be able to find some products similar to this for maybe 20 to $35 less, but if you're someone that's in both the iOS as well as the Android ecosystem and you use devices that have both a lightning and a USB-C cable or have MagSafe, this is probably going to be the most convenient option for you just because you don't have to bring excess cables to charge it and you're able to fast charge the battery bank as well as using the, bower, the, using the power bank while it's charging. Uh, you guys know that sometimes if I'm traveling and I'm staying in a hotel rooms, I will just use one outlet, plug it into a power bank, and then daisy train the other devices that I need to charge while simultaneously charging the power bank just because I might be limited for outlet space. So I guess with that being said, this kind of is worth the $80 if you're someone that has the need for something like this. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.